now, uh, where's my little pencil? I like having a little pencil to mark up I can get paper. to talking, man. I forget. No, it's you, fine. You had to cut it. I know you cut some of this shit out and stuff out. <laughs> it's fine. You, you're great. You're, you're okay. fantastic. One okay. of the best people I've ever interviewed, probably I'll ever okay, interview. Okay, because I get scared away. I forget where I am. Words. Sometimes you say shit loud. You know? It's so funny. Things you think are throwaway lines are... Uh, no one could but you could ever think of and are invaluable priceless and uh, speaking of things that are of of uh much worth well i don't put on no air i I, mean, <laughs> I, 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 I just really is what it is yeah. you, you're you're Number a gem one of me. you're precious uh, uh not in a bad way in a good way but speaking of precious things when lee came to your precious person mm. when lee came to detroit he had two gold teeth in his mouth but he <laughs> took them out fast when he arrived yeah you he, lee would ask florence how to cut his hair and lee didn't like wearing new clothes or getting his clothes or getting his shoes shined because uh black people really like to show up and show out and be very flashy yeah and, i'm not and, and you're you're more low-key and timeless. there's got to be quality yeah, like 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 uh, the quality and timelessness of Frank Sinatra or Johnny Carson. Like you got the Corvettes because Johnny Carson had a Corvette. You got the suits. You you had the Johnny Carson suit, but you had a kind of kind of a Frank Sinatra yeah. style to your suit. Well, I always like Frank Sinatra how he used to dress and yeah. he would take that coat and throw it over his shoulder. It's yeah, rain, it's like a raincoat. We call him a trench coat. Right. And I, you know, I just Derek Frankie, you know, blue eyes, yeah. you did. Yeah. And uh, I wanted, you know, because he, he didn't take any from nobody, you know. Oh, yeah, no, he, he, he was the, the real deal. But, he, but importantly, just like you, he had the talent to back mm. it up. I didn't like Sammy Davis, where he did. Really? I didn't like, I liked his, his acting. I knew, him. I, I was, for me, with Sammy Davis when he was with his dad and his aunt when they were dancers. That was his peak to you. Yeah, but but the thing about it, he laughed like he was so tickled. I didn't like him doing it for P- putting I on he was, too much. Huh? He put on too much. And I thought he didn't have a white person. Said, he just laughed and be so funny. And like, <laughs> yeah. And, and uh, you know, uh, he he was a kind of a funny person. Uh, one time he got into a, a horrible accident and was uh, unconscious in the um, the hospital. So one of his Jewish friends came over and left a star of David put it in his hand and so he's got the star of david in his hand he wakes up from the hospital and the whole time he'd been clenching it and they took it out of his hand and he had the imprint of it on his on his hand right? and that's why he became a converted to judaism i didn't know that but but here's the the, the kind of funny second part of that story i'm sorry but, but I wanted to say there's a kind of a funny story. No one ever says about Sammy Davis Jr. No one ever makes this connection. I, I want to hear what you think about it, especially since, uh, where is it? Uh, just around the corner right uh, here yeah. is a picture of you and Sammy Davis Jr. Now, now I want to say Sammy Davis Jr., when he was a younger man, he got into a horrible accident. It happens sometimes to people. So he's in a, in a coma or, or at least like unconscious uh, uh, in, the, in the hospital. A Jewish friend puts the Star of David in his hand while he's unconscious, and he's holding on to it. He wakes up. It's still in his hand, and he takes it out of his hand, and the imprint from when he was holding on to it is in his hand. So, he, so Sammy Davis Jr., on the strength of that, he thinks it's a sign. He converts to Judaism. Well, years later, uh, maybe a couple decades, 20 years later, he meets Anton LaVey, the founder of the Church of Satan, <laughs> and then quickly converts to Satanism, the Church of Satan, before he died. Yes. He did? Yes, sir. And so, uh, I'm not, you, I, I'm I'm not, not joking. He was a Satanist. I, <laughs> he had I, the robes and everything. I, I, I never heard of Satanist, but you know. Yes. <laughs> I heard that. I'm like, wow. You always hear the one story. You never hear the other mm-hmm. story. So I kind of want to put the two together and mm-hmm. let people kind of let those two disparate facts bounce around or maybe closer than one might imagine. Mm-hmm. Bounce around in their mind and uh, mm-hmm. see what, what they come up with. But he, 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 was, he, he was an entertainer. He, I, I, you know, I dug him for that. You know, I respect him. Yeah. Like him. <laughs> what else, you know? But uh, I saw Golden uh, Boy. You know, I thought he was good in that. He's good oh yeah. After, yeah. And um, but he could sing. Yeah. Yeah, he could. One, one of the best ever at yeah, singing. Yeah. Uh-huh. 